almost like this city just doesn't ever want to change. How did I find myself in a vandalism job? Gotta track down somebody, destroy their entire world, and get out. We know they live in Del Delgado Suites. We probably need to go there. It is a big tower. All we've got to go on is a fingerprint. I think one of the fastest ways would be to check the mailboxes and see where this Type W fingerprint is. I honestly don't know what else could uh, be the way to find it. Unless we go door to door to door. But I think mailboxes is the best chance. So on to Delgado Suites we go. Thank you. First, let's stop here at the scan building. And by scam building, I mean the sink building. Get the sink put in. Income of 10 every two hours or 50 by installing. In the long term, 10 would be better. But I think we'll get more in storing the data. We're now hacker mans. Oh, still. Still never get under that. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens. Reset the computer. Nine eight five four. Sabotage. Success. Is that it? 50 credits to survive in this world you have to become part of it and unfortunately that's the path we're going down here in Louisville let's head over to Delgado Suites I feel very dumb here's where we ate there's the sink clinic Delgado Suites is right next door Oh my lord, there's a lot here. But I'm thinking if we could find the right fingerprint, we need a W. We'll know exactly where they live. But not all of them have. But it is a chance. It also terrifies me that we are into double digit fingerprints in the city. This could take a while. A few moments later. Terra blast. Absolutely nothing. So the only other thing we know about this person is they're an engineer. We are probably going to have to break into the files. Of this place. And figure out. Who this person is. And where these files are. That I may not know. It's the phone room. We need the security, which is probably on a upper floor. So we'll take it one floor at a time until we find the security offices and try to get in. It is five o'clock. People should be going home. But you never know in this city. Could be it right there.
rooftop. I've never seen this. This is not where I wanted to be. We'll keep on searching. Or three, we may have a winner here. I cannot tell if somebody's in there or not. Question is, is do I want to get rid of this camera? I don't think they can see me. The one down there may. Yeah, I'm going to have to disengage these. The way that they... Okay, that one's out of sight. Okay, cameras are offline. The worst thing in the world is somebody's in here. Here go blueprints. I will take those. Probation. Let's see what we've got here. Well, first things first. Let's install some stuff and make some money. Spectacles. Don't want any bread. I don't want duct tape. Another paper clip. Chump change. All right, we need to find somebody who is an engineer. Oh no, this is gonna be awful. We're gonna have to look up everybody. This mission could take some time. That's why we're getting paid the big bucks. So I have employees here. That's the building janitor, so that's probably not going to be somebody. And these fingerprints do not match. So we've got a list of people. There's no camera in this room. So I guess we could just take our time, resident database, and we'll go one at a time. Ethan Taylor is the first one. And we can just see what we find what we find on each person. It's not gonna give me any more, is it? We're gonna have to go to the government database. So I guess a trip to City Hall. Is what we're going to have to do. We've got what we need. So let's head to City Hall. And do some research. Alright, we made it back to City Hall. Let's go in here and do some uh, research. Let's see if we can figure out... Who our person is. Ah yes, computer. Sabotage. There we go. There's me 50 more bucks. Okay. So the first person we need to look up going back is Ethan Taylor again. We should be able... To get fingerprints off this. His, his finger type is BJ. Um, head of HR. We also need to be mindful of that. 
All right, we got him out. Let's look up Vincent Chandler. This is slow, methodical for uh, finding a place we need to just destroy. You'd think if they wanted us to destroy something better. It's a Chandler. He's a receptionist, so he is not the person we're looking for either. Next person up, Chelsea Wood. Really wish we got more information. But unless we go through and break into every single place, it's just not going to happen. She's an R&D manager. She's also BK. Chelsea is not our person. We are at least getting good information for future. Asia Cortez. I've never heard of this name before. He's also spelling it totally wrong. BL, she's a shopkeeper. My biggest fear is this person is not going to be here. Feline Basque. And then I don't know what we'll do. At least this gives us something to do while there's not a murder going rampant in the town. BM, she's an enforcer. Interesting. Because the apartment could be in the name of the other person. Lila Cohen. Lise Barrett. Retail owner. B.O. is her, uh, her things. Tara McDade. One hour later! And then I'm afraid we're going to have to go back and go door to door. B.W. She is the landlord. All right, so. Obviously, those were incomplete records, but I went through every single floor to see if there was more. We still haven't found type W fingerprint, so I'm going to have to go back to Delgado Suites. Start going door to door. Back to Delgado Suites. And I've just got to figure out what else we can do besides going door to door. I mean, I guess I need to start at these doors down here. I'm afraid this is all we're going to have to go by. And this could not be very... I mean, we're, yeah, we're starting to find people's. We've already got information on them. Until we find a W. It's not going to matter. And that was the only room that I found that had security in it. So... Unfortunately, this may be what we have to do for a while. I'm not a fan of it. But it's all we've got to go on if we're going to try to knock out this case. Here's Diego. These are some of the people we've already looked for. It may just take some time to go through and catalog all of these doors and look for the W that we need to find. And even then, 
I'm not sure if that's going to give us the answers that we want. Especially since we're on the first floor and we're just already accumulating fingerprints. Follow the train, CJ! Uh, AR, the long range fingerprint. <gasps> w. This is it. It's with CW. That station was always up to no good. Yep, here we go. This is the room. 604. All right. We have verified. We have lots of W's here. They don't have a key for me. Can't really tell if anybody's home or not. Probably need to shut. Alright, so we could start filling out some stuff now. Uh, 604. Look this up here. Pin it. So we know they live at 604 Delgado Suites. We got to do a hundred dollars of vandalism and then take a picture. I did bring a camera. shut down the uh, camera. There could be people home right now. Because it is nighttime. But it shouldn't be too much to create $100 worth of damage. Taking the picture of it, though. Oh, it doesn't look like anybody's home. Ellie Sorensen. 604 Delgado Suites. Let's see what else we can find. Who else works here? Albert Kwiatkowski. He's an engineer. This is him. Okay, he works at night. Till 11, so we don't have much time. I was really hoping near, uh, stuff would be there so we could get into their computer. But he is home. They both were home. Well, we've got a place. We know that they work. So about 11 in the morning is where we need to. Come back. And trash the place. But we know where they're at now. And that was the hard part. I am hungry, so let's go get some food. Then maybe you sleep till morning. So if he goes to work at 30... To 11. I'd say about 9 in the morning. 8.39 would be the best time to come in because they both should be gone to work. Because they both worked. Uh oh. There is a murder that just transpired while I was sitting here passing time. It happened in the middle of the night. 
Literally at 3.30. 802 Diallo. Well, we do have a little bit of time to pass. I'm also very hungry. Um, let's eat a cheeseburger before we go over there. We'll get the murder form, then we'll come back. It should be morning time. I really wish more time passed or went by between the murders because sometimes it's just murder after murder after murder after murder. All right, there goes the cops. They're probably running out right now to check it. We'll get our form. Elected form, the bow butcher. All right, so we'll need handcuffs. So we'll have them on. We have those in our camera. So the first thing we need to go to is the murder was 802 Diallo building. We won't be able to get in right now. But that will be where we start. And I say we still try to go vandalize this place before. All right, back here at the Delgado building, I'm banking. What's his name is still at work. I wish I would have kept their schedule written down. Because that would probably help us. But I was kind of in a panicked hurry. I need to keep my composure when I go into these places. It's relocked again. We know what we need to do here. Turn that down. Pay no attention to that man. I'm running low on lock picks. Need to buy some more of those. Somebody is there. Maybe they're going to work. I am completely out of lock picks. I may have jumped the gun coming here. I wonder if I can get in here and hide. Alright. Why? So we're in. I'm just curious. We'll go to work. Okay. So there's the passcode of their computer.
And of course they come right in. Oh god. We have made a terrible mistake. And somehow I'm going to have to fix this issue and then solve a murder. This has been an utter failure of detective work. Hello, officer. Yeah, nothing to see here indeed. Hey everybody, I'm Steven Thomas. Subscribe if you have not. And if you enjoyed the video and you want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is hit that like button down below. Also, if you want to support the channel, there's a plethora of ways to do that down in the description. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.